Let me take you to a Metro Atlanta uh, school teacher, okay? A Metro Atlanta school teacher has been arrested with six other individuals in a sting to catch child sex predators, all right? Let's put the picture up of the six men who are now in custody because of this sting. Keep that picture up. Six men are in police custody as part of an operation targeting online child predators. Floyd County, which is in the metropolitan area of Atlanta. Floyd County police said the arrests were carried out after the men were allegedly involved in online chats with undercover agents who they believed to be minors. Now you see that crew, all right? You have a mix of construction workers, individuals who are unemployed, and one school teacher, all right? One school teacher. Let's put up the picture of the school teacher. That's him. In a weeks long investigation called Operation Safe Christmas, Floyd County Police in partnership with the GBI, Georgia Bureau of Investigation, and the Georgia Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force documented over 200 exchanges with the arrested men on various social media and internet platforms. Many of those were exchanges in which the men allegedly initiated contact and directed the conversation towards sex. In some of those cases, police say the men induced obscene or lewd content, often exposing the person they believe to be a minor to pornography or requesting the child to take naked or pornographic images of them. Let's put up the picture of the teacher again. Okay, all right, his name is Jeremy Bowman. Jeremy Bowman is 44 years of age. Mr. Bowman is an elementary school teacher. Charges include sexual exploitation of children, obscene internet contact with a child, criminal attempt to commit a felony, and or aggravated child molestation. Each man who was arrested believed he was going to meet up with a minor as part of a prearranged sexual engagement. Instead, they were met by officers with handcuffs. Now, this is a developing story, but the reality of crimes like this increasing during holidays, not anything new. There are 10 crimes that increase during the holiday season, and this is one of them. So for all of the parents, those who care about young people, my mentors in the audience, I want you to make sure you're paying attention, all right? Pay attention, look out for the little ones. Two, to the school system. We're gonna follow this because at this point, you now have to look at what may have happened at your school because of this individual who now has an internet record of trying to solicit minors for sex. All right, Senator Turner, thoughts on this one. Yeah, very sad story, glad that these predators have been caught. For every predator that's caught, there are thousands or more of them out there. So I'm really glad that they have been. And Doc, you're absolutely right, as parents and caregivers of children, we gotta watch out for them, watch out for our babies. And also watch what they're doing on the internet too. There's no yeah. freedom on the internet, period. It's just like in my mama's house, you couldn't keep your door closed. She mama all. needed to know what was going on. Grandma's house, you couldn't <laughs> keep the door closed. She needed to know. No, there were no pajama parties and none of that kind of stuff. She didn't play that. Um, so we gotta bring bring some of that old fashioned and just watching out for our babies, especially with this technology, Doc, is so dangerous. And predators do often go where they think their prey are. And yep. so whether it's being a teacher or a coach. You know, and not saying that all of these people are that, because that is not the case. But we cannot turn a blind eye that people who have the propensity to commit these types of crimes tend to go in the businesses. It's like robbing a bank, right? Mm -hmm. You want to go where the money is, it is the same thing. So we got to look out for our babies. So glad these predators have been caught. This happens in this country and all over the world, Doc. It's so sad. Hearing you talk about this reminded me of uh, there used to be a series called uh, How to Catch a Predator or To Catch yep. a Predator. You may remember that. Oh, yeah. Too bad that the host himself got caught up in some stuff, but that's a whole nother thing. But that show was very eye opening because it shows so many people from different walks of life. People who you think have a fancy title, you might not think they're engaging in this kind of behavior. So they are. So have no respect to persons 
when it comes to protecting our babies. Very well said.